two, one. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the sisters interview. I'm a Shaxi from Ontier, and this is my sister, Sarifkin from Ontier. And tonight, our guest is uh, Duke Gunnar Brynwolf, who is a Lion of Ontier, and um, sitting next to him oh. is <laughs> his, his wife, Duchess Gabrielle. Um, and uh, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. We usually start this off by asking how you found the SCA and what made you fall in love with it. Okay. I, uh, we went to game fair. I think Sven said this too, but we did him and I went to game fair, which is a, a big game where they have all kinds of games and stuff. And they had a demo there and we, we fought in the ball fraternities and I watched the, the heavy fighters and I fell in love with it right then and there. And they gave me all the paperwork and everything. But the way that happens is you come home, you take the paperwork and throw it on top of the fridge. And that's where it sat for two days. Then I got a knock on the door and I opened it and there's, there was a chubby little guy there. He was one of the marshals at the event. We lived in the trailer park then and he lived like three trailers down from us. Oh, wow. That was Siegfried, Master Siegfried. Uh -huh. And he came there and he filled my head with, you can be a knight, you can be a king, you can do this, you can do that. And, and then um, we started going to the meetings at Willsmere, which was in a flux right then. They just had a turnover and it was not a pretty one. And we came in on the on the wrong side with with Siegfried and Willem. But we got we got my armor together and and we went to our first event was Springfest. And there was no stopping me then. I wanted I knew what I wanted. And that's how that's how we did it. That's how we came in, was through Game Fair. Oh, and Wilfmere was kind of a an oasis for us. So Not Will's Mirror, I'm sorry. Waste keep. So did the two of them help you put your arm to, armor together? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um Willem and Siegfried helped me get it together. And when um when we put it together, he was making his helmet, Willem was, who's got a little tiny head. And he um looked at his his pattern and looked at my head, so he just added a bunch to it. So I ended up with a helmet like this. I've got it here, I'll show it to you. There's like this much foam in it. And it. I used it for like two years, and then I lent it to Connor, and he used it like two or three years, but it was getting thin on top, and all those dents aren't from me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my helmet. Wow. See the foam? Wow. I was on a bridge battle wearing Bring this Bring it over a little bit. Huh? Bring it over to Which the way? chair a little bit. There we go. Look at that top. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's well used. The foam's in there. I was in a bridge battle, and I got poked in the head with a pike, and my head just went back, and I went all the way over, landed on my back. <laughs> That's happened to me before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they, they um helped me get my armor together. And like I said, Spring Fist was our first event. And there was no stopping me then, like I said. Did, did I you had a goal. Did you start out with sword and shield or did you start out with mass weapons? Yeah, I started out with sword and shield. And um and of course we, we made my shield out of out of sheet sheet metal and it weighed 21 pounds so i fought with that for a while and then i then we made some lighter ones but then it was it was at a spring fest and dak was on his knees and everybody was lined up to fight him and i used i had my pike and my sword and i used that to and that's that's where the change started. That and um, Duke Eric, 
he fought with his, his spear in a different style than mine. I fight with the he point down, him. and he fights with the point up. But still, it was the same, same idea. I is remember. That, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, is, is he who, who, who inspired you to fight spear and sword? Yeah, I saw him. He was uh, the first one. Him and, and another fighter that I didn't know that fought great sword and, and sword. But I love the style. So what do you I love had about to, it? Huh? What do you love about it? Oh, I love two offensive weapons. I don't like to have one that's just defensive. I like to have one of each or... I like to fight with both offensive weapons. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, that's a. What next? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you end up squiring to anybody? Oh yes, I squired to Sir Dian, Demon Tell. How did he you was? Know? Um, he was the only knight on the east side, and I, and I admired him. A, I loved him and hated him because he was left-handed. Left-handers don't do me any good, but he did. He taught me how to how to play with it and stuff. Very cool. How long were you squired to Dion? Uh, three years. Um, yeah, I, I was told that that you didn't go up and ask somebody to be your to be your knight. I was told that you had an intermediary, it, somebody in between that went and asked for you. So I asked, of course, Gwillem to do it. And by the time Gwillem went up and asked him, Miles Longfellow already asked him and was the first squire. <laughs> <laughs> he went right up and asked him. Very cool. Oh, he did it right. Yep. So, did, did you have an interest in medieval history before you found the SCA, or did it sort of spurn? Or, or, Burn your interest. Yeah, to tell you the truth, what intrigued me most was was the armor and the fighting, and uh, that's that's what drug me right into it. And it, I had some people question me about it too. As a matter of fact, they had a uh, the the um, seneschal of of Willsmere had asked Sir Scalanus to talk to me and explain to me that you don't want to be a stick jock. And I go, what? <laughs> and so, yeah, it's the interest for the rest of, of the medieval stuff came later. Like, I love making leather armor and I love making weapons. And that, that all came, but I was pretty much focused on the fighting at that time. I 100% relate to that. So um, I don't think there's a wrong way to come in. I think, you know, you fall in love with what you fall in love with, and then you, you discover the rest of it is super cool, too. So. Exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of other things that I like to dabble with, but so the fighting you, was money. How did you convince your wife to like it? Oh, that took, oh. Oh, that, that took some time. Oh. I um, When I first started playing, I came home after a fighter's practice, and there was... There was Post-it notes all over the house saying my knight in shine of armor and oh. and um, go to go and win and all this stuff. But when she found out that we were going to use up all of our weekends and all of the other time, it got harder. And I remember us arguing till our first crown. Yeah, we argued till like three o'clock in the morning, and then decided that I finally got her talked him in, into going and. On the way there, we lost the fan belt, and we're, I'm driving all over Everett trying to find a gas station. Finally, I found one, and he had a truck. He had a pair of pliers and a and a truck fan belt, and I got it on there. And every time we turned or something, it squealed. And then on the way to the event, we tore the muffler off on the field, oh. and we got there, and we set up our pup tents, which is all we had. And the kids slept in one and we slept in the other. We got there at 8.30 and the tournament started at 10.30. So I was, I was a little tired. Got to the fourth round, but Sir Monfred took me out. 
How long had you been fighting? Hmm? How long had you been fighting before you fought in your first crown? Uh, a year. Yeah. Um, like the first tournament I fought in was Spring Fest, and um, and what's the other one? Diane's tournament. And then the next year I fought in Crown. And um, that was the one where Dak and Eric were in the finals and Dak won. Was that Waste Keep Championship, Diane's tournament? Yeah, that was Spring Fest, was Waste Keep Championship. Yeah. Okay. And then the other one was Oktoberfest. That's what it was, not Oktoberfest, but um, it was in October. What was the name of it? So you don't remember either, but that's that was my favorite tournament there, because you went there and you fought, um, and you counted your your deaths and your and your kills, and then you subtracted your death from your kills, and that was your score. Oh. That was my favorite tourney for a long time. That's that's not Baron's ball. There it is. Baron's that's ball. Baron's ball. Thank you. All right, I must like, sounds like Baron's ball. Yeah. Yep, that was Baron's ball. And I fought in that every year for like five years. It's a fun little event. Oh, it is. And and were you a sergeant when you first came in? I became a sergeant to waste keep. I did. That was another uh, stress stressful thing, trying to get all that stuff done. Who who talked you into doing that? He, nobody talked me into. I found out about it and wanted to do it. Okay. And that's, hey, and um, nobody told me. I wrote a song for for the for the court, and nobody told me I could read it, and I didn't have to memorize it. So halfway through, I'm going, uh, uh, and and did and fed me the lines, and then I went on from that. But it was that was a fun thing, really learning all that stuff and getting it done. Very that cool. was back in the 80s. Were, were there people in the sergeantry that you looked up to? Is that, um, like, I'm trying to figure out what the impetus was. Um, what did you find um, cool about it that made you want to do it? I wanted to swear fealty to, to um, Catherine. Catherine. Um, Catriona. 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 Boy, I'm, I'm, I am, am getting old here. <laughs> we all are. It's, it's a oh, lot of pressure really? when you're on video to remember names, too. I, I forget all the time. It is. It's super hard. Yeah, and, and I only know because I'm sitting here with your OP in front of me so that I can. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. If I pause like that, go ahead and say the name. <laughs> I, I was going to say Facebook makes it hard too because now everybody has two or three names. So, um, yeah, um, name, names are hard. So, um, when you got knighted, was it a surprise? Yes. I came to, um, I remember, I remember talking to my fellow fighters here. They, what are you going to that? What are you going to um, champions tourney for? That's that's big thing, you know. Well, I wanted to fight, and anything could happen. And I went to the event, and Duke Skepti, who was just Skepti then, um, was talking to me, and he was going, "You know who his father is?" Miles. Miles Longfellow. Yeah. And Skepti tells me he goes, "Yeah," while he was while he was sanding Torgel's helmet. He goes, yeah, you, my father says you'll get knighted eventually, but it's going to be like two or three years from now. And that's, I thought, okay. <laughs> and so I was, I fought in the tournament and it was me and Peralf in the end. And I won the tournament and they called all the knights out on the field and they knighted me that day. And I was all smiles all the way home. <laughs> I, I remember, I remember on the way home, we stopped in George to get gas, and there was a, a 
it, I knew it was an SCA people there because it was all piled to the to the gunnels with equipment and weapons and stuff. And I'm walking out of the the paying the gas, and this this big hefty guy comes up to me and he goes, "Are you are you Sir Gunnar? And I go, "I am. I am Sir Gunnar. <laughs> and that was that was that was Darius. Oh wow! Who, who that was. And they had another 12-hour ride to their home. Yeah, they, the Canadians have done a lot of, uh, a lot of time. Yeah. So that's, do you remember that's who, who you got regalia from? I got it from, I got my, my chain from Dak and my belt from Diane. And I think I got the spurs from Dak also. Very cool. That's very cool. I just and have I, that, that skepti telling you you weren't going to be a knight for a few years. He must have been 16. He about that. He, he was pretty young. <laughs> but he was going by what his father said. Yeah, just having having the the wherewithal to like tell you that. I don't know. It just, <laughs> anyway. We were both squires. <laughs> wow. So um, you ended up winning crown just a couple years later. Yeah, that's a, well, there was, there was a crown tournament that um, uh, Duke Thorin had, what did he do? He, he banished all, all pole weapons and, and big weapons from it. So I had to fight sword and shield and that was that was that crown, and then the next crown, I was champion then, and I and I was at the at the head table talking to Thorin, and I asked him our, our because he was king again, I asked him what are we gonna fight with, Your Majesty, and he says, oh I don't know if the the other people would like it, but I'm thinking about a no shields turn, and what do you think, what do I think, okay. <laughs> So then, then the next one was in Grants Pass with a no shields journey, and I had my new armor and new legs, and it was my tournament until I got to Darius. That guy, he 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 scared the death out of me. Chased him all over the field, and for a big guy, he ran fast. Did you, you said something about you like you making um, leather armor. Did you make your tooled leather breastplate? I did. Oh, it's very pretty. And then, um, thank you. Yeah, I am. Um, I enjoy tooling leather. Super cool. Very cool. Do we want to look at some pictures? Sure. I can bring those. Sure. Let's do that. All right, can you see that? Yep, that's my knighting. That's my ugly old armor. Yeah. <laughs> that's Siegfried, and that's Dak, and that's Eric. Don't know who that is. Again. I tried to put these in some sort of order, but I probably failed. Yeah, that no, that's the champion. Um, making me champion. So did you get knighted right before they made you champion? Like, did, is, is that how it went? Right. Uh, right after the fight, right? And it was over, and I threw my gloves up in the air, and then they all called me over there, and we did it there. So. And then this was later on. So since they I've been to... playing, and obviously I haven't been playing quite as long as you, um, I have never seen an unbelt win champion, I don't think. Yeah, that's why they knighted him. You know what? Um, both of us were unbelted, me and Harolf, oh, wow. in the finals. So Do you know there was going to be an unbelted win champion either way. Mm -hmm. Do you know if you're the only unbelt to have ever won champion tourney? You know, I don't know. I'm going to 
No, I'm going to ask your son. I bet he knows. <laughs> he probably does. He, he knows all the trivia. Keeps track of all this stuff and remembers names and everything else. <laughs> what a great day for you, though. I mean, that that's pretty. Oh, amazing. yeah. Like I said, um, I couldn't wipe the smile off my face all the way home. So did you know when you won champion that you're going to have to stand up there for a year? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I knew all that. All right. I've been watching those guys and, and drooling over for years. Uh, I love this. Me, Eric, and Dak. God, what a pudgy guy. <laughs> no, nobody's pudgy in that picture. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the, the haircut. Dutch boy. Oh, that was Steinger with Elnora. I got to, I was champion when when um, they had their coronation. And I I did all my I did all my speech and threw down my gauntlet and they gave me a horn with beer in it. And I had no idea how to drink from it. So I'm drinking and it's not coming. It's not coming. It's not coming. This blue shit hit me all over the face. Oh. <laughs> I don't wipe my face off. Point down. Point down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know now. <laughs> Steinger and Lenora. Is that Steve making you the champion? That must be, yeah, uh, that must be giving me the champion's cloak. So is this a second time that you won? No, that's still the first time. Still the I did win twice, but I, this is still the first one, I think. Mm -hmm. There was one where Derek and I were in the finals, or Sven and I. Oh, really? He took me out. That's cool. <laughs> Well, it's, it's cool. I mean, just to fight your son in the finals, it must have been pretty, like, it, either way, like, very happy ending, right? Oh, yeah. There was no way I could lose, you know? Look at, look at baby Darius in this photograph. <laughs> yeah. Is that who that is? That's Darius. That's Darius, yeah. And that's, that's Grendel. Mm, mm-hmm. And Jacintha. That's, mm -hmm. that's amazing. That banner, you, that your banner is beautiful. Yeah, it's the one behind me. Wow. Wow. Who did that for you? Sandra did that for me. She made both of our banners, didn't she? Mm -hmm. She did a good job. Yeah. Nice. Aw. Ah, they got to carry me. I love that. This looks like a video screen capture. It does. Wow. Oh, it could be. So I was going to ask you about the video, like um, back in the day, not very many people were videoing fighting, but you guys were. We were. Was that a you thing or like, how did that come about? Well, when we got, when the camera came out, I wanted it. And so when we started doing the fighting and stuff, um, we had the camera and it was a video camera and now you buy them for hundred and seventy nine dollars or something. That one costs twelve hundred. Right. <laughs> we put it on Sears. <laughs> and we didn't. We didn't let. He didn't took let. It away from me. Yeah, we took it away from Gabrielle <laughs> because she talks. <laughs> I, I, I was fighting. Well, it was the champions turning. I was fighting for Rolf. Telling him and, how to fight. And I, I hit him, and he hit me too. So. I died. Oh, wait a minute. I can't remember, but oh, um, my knight asked me, did you get hit? And I go, I don't think so. What do you think? Well, I don't know either, but I saw him come over there and I go, I go well, I'm going to fight this over then. So I went and talked to Rolf and I said, I'd like to fight this over because he died. And he said, okay. And Gabrielle's filming that fight and she's going, Rodney Olson, you're a jerk for fighting this over. And so we don't let her film no more. <laughs> I know. She was cursing you. I mean, yeah, she was. I just, um, I might come back to that because I, I think it's, um, 
you guys were sort of pioneering on watching video and using it to um, better your fighting. Um, so we might. Yeah, that it helped a lot, and it it saved me a lot too because there was there was times when um, I'd throw something in and somebody would. Ah, I don't want to talk about that. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I know where you're going, though, and sometimes video can be very validating about what you thought happened in the fight really happened. Exactly, yes. All right, what are we seeing here? Right, wait, actually, the, the photo before, was that the first crown you won? Oh, uh, what was the photo? This one. No, that I think that's the second one. It's the second one? Okay. That was up in Vancouver. Oh Canada. yeah, that's the one. That's the one we um we had that. This one I was telling you about, where there was only so much room for the feasting and stuff. Oh yeah. And and we 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 stayed there for all the pomp and circumstance, but we heard that there was there was more people. Yeah, this was the first one. And. They told us they were over in the other warehouse over there. So after all that was done, we went over there and we walked in and it was incredible. I could not believe how how these people made us feel like royalty. We, that was amazing. That was one of the best, best things that happened to us on the reins. They were surprised to see that we were that we would come over. They didn't there expect us. Because they didn't pay for the feast, they had their their own food. But you know, that's that's what we do. Yep, it's awesome. It's very cool. Okay. So is this a coronation? That that's the coronation that they're talking about. Where mm -hmm. they? Yeah. All right. Great. Is that Colgram? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. They were putting on a play. This was our first, our first coronation. All right, so I got the pictures messed up. That's okay. That's okay. You got to follow Thorne's white rain. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thorn and Unhorrid. Unhorrid. So your first rain, what was the most surprising thing about raining? Like something that you didn't expect? Well, I didn't expect to have people treat me more like a like a king, and that's what what was incredible, and I learned a lot from that when coming around other royalty, treating them like kings or queens, that that was amazing to me. Yeah, it's a, it's an important part of our game that sometimes we forget. <laughs> yeah, well, I I ran into people too who, in in instead of facing the, the royalty and bowing and mark, they'll turn around and walk the other way. You know, I don't know, understand why, but I have seen that happen. It, it's cool though, right? Though, because that's the, that was the cool thing for you, but um, you know, in juxtaposition, um, that's how you made all those people feel when you went over to the hall, right? You made them feel significant right. important because um, you gave them your time. That was mutual. They made me yeah. feel so yeah. good. Yeah, it's very cool. It, that's one of the things I really love about the SCA is um, how we make each other feel valued. Um, yeah, there's no, everybody's noble. So I got to ask what's happening with your pants here. Like, um, I, I think the design on the side is really cool. What is that? That, that was LeMay. Oh, okay. it, was, it was a special cloth that she made and that yeah, I picked it out. It was really flimsy and didn't last more than a year or so. But yeah, there it looks really neat. Okay, so that's your tunic. That's the bottom of the tunic. Yeah, I'm like, what what pants? I'm like <laughs> what's happening right now? No, those are pants. It, it looks like a chain. It looks cool. Oh. Yeah, that is the bottom of my tunic. Yeah. Oh, is it that is? But yeah, the LeMay pants were nice though. Right. God, that was so, so long ago and so fun. I love this. <laughs> I 
<laughs> put it in. Ashley did that, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. Ashley Longbow did that and sent it to us. Aww. Wow. That's my champion. There's the LeMay pants. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, there they are. Wow, that's awesome. Is that one of your kids in the green tunic there? Nope. Nope. Okay. Yeah, there's another one here where we're walking in and Sven's with me. There's Sven. And there's Sven and, and Agar. Is Siegfried. Is he your herald? No, um, he, that looks like Ignis was our herald. Oh, okay. Okay. That's our second ring. Ah, uh, yeah. Torquil and Ludviga. So who did you fight in the finals in um, your second crown win? It was Oak. Okay. I've him and I were in the semifinals like eight times before. Before I won crown. Wow. On our first rain, when we were coming home, I was sitting there and I turned to Gennar and I looked at him because I'm was back then a, a pretty shy person. And I looked at him and I said, what the hell did you do to me? <laughs> now I have to get up and talk in front of all those people. And of course, the first time she got up when um, she had she had Sir Rolf make me a knife. And so well, I had this speech and I practiced it. <laughs> and I, I interrupted her and threw her off completely. Right. Oh. And then um, then <laughs> then uh, I think that was when. She said that, uh, oops, I made a mistake, and Grendel stood up, and he, he, he stood up and goes, the queen didn't make a mistake. The queens don't make mistakes, do they? And everybody said, yay. Aww. That was great. It was fun. I love Grendel. Is it, are you giving them their duchies here? Yes. Wow, I haven't seen those costumes in a long time. Yeah, I'm I'm enjoying the the costume flashback. I think it's super cool. Yeah, I don't have the guts to to wear a big old cod piece like Sven. <laughs> <laughs> he likes clothes that that man does. Yeah. Yep. That's our first one. Is that Antonio behind you? That is. Wow. Antonio, he spent when um when Rorick stepped up, he spent like three hours with me in the back room trying to figure out how to be Odin and name all the royalty down the line. Like, was so-and-so, was so-and-so. I had it on my, on my staff, the initials. That was, that was fun, but it, it took a lot out of me, that one. I love being Odin. <laughs> So, um, Sir Casimir wants to know what your favorite moment um, from reigning was. Well, I think I already said what the favorite one was. Walking it into was the hall. Into the people that, and and we, Going after one, one crown, or after one court, we went into the cabin, and we told the people that they could come in and we talked to each one of them. And we were up till what, 2.30 in the morning talking to people all night. That was one of my favorites. Wow. Because I love the people. Mm -hmm. I think some of my favorites were going to all of the littler shires and cantons, the people that can't go to events or can't make it to a, a crown event. And it was nice going to all these littler places because you get to know the people and then, and they get to see the king and queen. It's that much more intimate, right? Yeah. 
so I, I don't know who Cindy Mahoney is in, in the SEA, so I'll apologize to her in advance, but she says Rourke loved you as Odin too. <laughs> Excellent. That's great. That makes me feel good. That's cool. That's our first one. So um, I asked Sven what this was, and he says this is you giving Oak his silver rose. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I thought that was Oak. Oh, you can tell by the belt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, there he is. And that's that's Davin, right? Oh. Getting that made. Yes, that is Davin. Davin. So this is your second reign, and Davin won the crown you guys put on. Yeah, Davin won that one. That was up in Canada. Did you ever do anything um, with your crowns, like have no shields or anything like that? Nope, I let everybody play the way they wanted. Cool. I think that that's the first picture I've seen of that mace that everybody talks about that was so dangerous. Oh, that is the mace. <laughs> Which one? That, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, Torquil went off about that mace. So. <laughs> <laughs> That is too. Such beautiful pictures of you both. Yeah, that her hair was 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 she had it blonde, but she, I told her not to, <laughs> but she got a permanent in it, and it killed her hair, Aww. so it didn't stay curled very long. But she still looks beautiful. Yeah, she looks beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> So I asked Sven about this one too, and he says this is you making Master Timothy. Oh, okay. So I have to ask, um, was it a surprise to you that he wanted to be a master, or did you guys talk about that first? It was pretty much a surprise. He wanted it, it but that's that's great in my opinion. If that's what he wants to do, that's what he wants to do. The only one. The other one was Grendel. Monfred was a knight, wasn't he? No, he was a master. Was master. He was a master also? Okay, Grendel and Monfred and Timothy. And he was my husband's first first knight or first. Oh, really? Yeah. That's neat. Yeah. So there's some legacy for you. <laughs> there we go. When, when we talked to Grendel last week, he said when he um, chose master that they couldn't even find the ceremony because nobody ever chose that. Um, uh, yeah, uh, Grendel came to Wellsmere to put on, to, to do some fighting, um, show us some fighting and stuff. And he was in his demo mode, you know? And I didn't know what a demo mode was. So I got to kill him a couple times. <laughs> so when we went to the crown that next spring, of course, I'm going to pick Grendel. And I picked him, and he just beat me like a harp seal. And he was in tournament mode and not demo mode. <laughs> so you got to remember that. I have to tell you, too, um, the Kingdom Earl Marshall um, is just said something really nice to you, too. She says... Your portrayal of Odin and the litany of kings as part of our coronation ceremonies was always something I loved. Eventually enough time passed, I know it wasn't feasible anymore, but I still miss it. You and Gabrielle were the first monarchs I remember when I started in the SCA. I still have a token on my belt um, that you gave me when I was a fairly new marshal. Oh, oh cool. neat. Yeah. That is so neat. Earl Marshall now, so that's, that's kind of cool. That's wow. Awesome. Yeah, speaking of Earl Marshalls, I had to... Um, to send a letter or, I, no, I called the Earl Marshal. It was sort of Whedon then. So I could get Sven to be able to fight in, in wars and tournaments over here. And he gave us permission. So he was fighting at 14. Wow. Can't do that now, but he did it then. I so, wish I'd had a father in the SEA to show me that. <laughs> right? I was gonna say, how much did you um, did you teach him, or did you um, 
pass them off to Dak fairly quickly. I taught him all I could. I remember um, <laughs> we were out at the Pell and I was I was showing him how to throw blows and and all this. And well, years later, he's showing me. But um, <laughs> he, he was like he was a teenager, and yeah, oh well, okay, yeah. And then I'm, our Pell was down here, and our deck is up here. And I was sitting up on the deck, and he didn't realize I was there. And he was had his friends over there, and I can remember this made me feel good because he's going, yeah, my dad showed me how to do that, and he showed me how to do that. And I'm going, neat. He was listening. <laughs> but no, I, Dak's the one that showed him a lot. Uh, and and because he, he picked up his fighting style, mine was completely different. But yeah, Dak is the one that, that pulled him through everything. I think By that time, I was working at the prison, and I had Tuesdays and Wednesdays off, so I couldn't go to a lot of events. That that brings me up to my the last crown. Nobody believed that if it was, they made a movie of it, because I was working at the prison, and I was in um. I was I was on a one-on-one -on -one hospital watch, and one of the nurses comes back there, and who happened to be the seneschal of our group, and. He, he, she, he was uh, transgendering to female, but he came back there and he's talking to me saying they're, they're, they're going to have crown over here. And I go, I haven't fought in crown in six years. I'm not, I got nothing to do with it. And so he walked off and I come home and my son's sitting at the kitchen table and he goes, dad, they're going to have crown over here and none of them's worried about you. Here I has been. And of course, that got my hackles up. And he says, well, we'll practice and, and we'll go. So we did. I practiced with him like three days a week. And I remember the first practice I went to in Wellsmere. It was not fun for me. I, but the muscle memory came back. And we went to a war down in Yakima. And I was fighting this kid. He was doing, I was doing pickups with him. And I'd fight him and, and kill him, and he'd go, oh, that was good, let's do it again. Oh, that was good, let's do it again. Like the fifth time, and I'd throw a blow, and I threw my shoulder out. Oh. This was in, in um, January, February, April, or January, or February, I think. And um, no, it had to be April. And I thought I was done. I went and got, I went and did some therapy on it and all this stuff, and didn't tell them what I was what I was planning on doing, and it got got good enough. So I was I was at practice with Sven, and he's running back, and I throw a blow, and I I pulled the bicep off the shoulder. It popped. I had a bicep like thirty inches big for a while, but I thought I was done. So I. Still going to practice fighting with my great sword, and I was deciding to go and and um, fight the crown tournament. Um, Devin was king, and I was going to use my great sword. So by the time I got there, I hey Skepti, come out and warm me up. Went out there and Skepti, he he beat me, beat me to death. So I said, heck with it. I got my spear and my sword, and it all felt it felt okay. So the first fight, somebody picks me, and I don't know who it is. I don't know how long he's played. I don't know anything. And come to find out, he was he was pretty much a newbie. That the other fighters here had told him to pick the Duke. But so when I went out there, I I mean I I pummeled him, and then I realized. So it was two out of three fights and um i just poked him in the chest the next one and then we went there i think his name was angar he derek had told me about him that he was hell on wheels with a glaive and so i was i was ready for him and he must have been ready for me because my my first move is to move it to the side and come over the top 
and then and do a flurry. And he choked up and poked me right in the chest. So the next fight, I instead of pushing it to the side, I pushed it into the ground and came over the top. <laughs> and the last fight, I'm sitting there waiting for my spot and he pokes me right in the face. So that was my first death. So it went on and on and I thought I might be I might have to fight Sven in the finals because he was in the semis, him and and Kayeth, who I don't want to fight against in a glaive either. But um I was fighting oh I think Gunther from um, Canada. He's like six foot eight. And actually no, no, it was Victor first. Oh Victor, yeah. Victor, yeah, he fights my style. And it was getting dark before they got the lights up, and he just knocked the wind out of me. And then, but I like, he's one of my favorite fights because he will wrestle with me. I mean, he's a pretty hefty guy. And we fought for a long time, and then he just collapsed. And from Half the Wolf, I think, told me that. When he uses up all his energy, he's done. And he just collapsed. Then I fought Gunther. And I'm chasing him down. And I throw a blow and hit him in the head. And as he's dying, he throws a death blow and hits me right in my bicep. Oh. And I'm going, oh, crap. And I run over there. And Gabrielle and the Squires are all going going like Miyagi and, and trying to get it fixed. And finally, they did. And who do I see in the finals? Angar. And I think Sven probably said something about this because we all made seven and a half foot long great swords. And he had he came out there and he had that little six footer. And I'm going, all my squires and my son, we all got seven and a half foot swords you can use. Oh, oh, I'm using that. Oh, this is my sword. And I mean I'm completely at, at distance. And I hit him in the head. And then we closed the next fight. And one of my favorite moves is to, to turn like that and hit him in the back of the head. Well, I did that. And he did that. And we both died. And then the next, then um, I threw a blow. And I mean, I was 53 years old in the finals at Crown. And in my opinion, I'd already won. I threw a blow and he and he asked me, was that flat? And I go, I don't care. Let's fight. And we went out in the middle of the field. And I don't know. That might have shook him or something. But the next blow was killing. And that was it. And then. He likes to give me heart attacks. <laughs> and then I go back and a friend of ours comes over there and tells us that a friend of hers came and said, yeah, I'm not sure who won, but I think it was Sven's father. And I'm going, oh. <laughs> and that was that was that was funny. Very cool. So, so were you? I, obviously, you were prepared to rain, but like he egged you on to to train for this, and and you right. did. I mean, that's pretty awesome. That, that was my type of tourney, though. Yeah. Yeah. Was there um, was there a marked difference between uh, how your reign ran uh, between your first two and your last one? <clears throat> I it ran a little smoother, I think. And we had some good people with us, some that followed us to every single event. Yeah. Yeah. I think so we had to make them. Technology had just started to be a thing in reigns when, when you guys reigned last. Uh, the, you're right. That was different. Um, the the different peerage meetings and things like that. They, I was a little surprised at some of them. The, there was a difference. They had I, changed. I love night council anyway. It's it's. I I love night council. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I well, don't want to get myself in trouble here. <laughs> yeah. But I did bring my um. This mace here, oh, this was one of my favorite maces, but 
I was fighting somebody and I did a twist and hit him in the shield and their arm went numb. Oh. So I don't play with that one very much. Wait, bring that back. Like, what is that made out of? That's um, like a big lint roller. Leather. It's That's white. leather. Oh, it's leather. That's leather. I put a face on it What's and some underneath? designs on it. It's foam underneath. I don't have any clackers in it. It's got a pokey on top. I, I don't know if you realize this, but my mace was was my main stay weapon for the first few years. I loved my mace. Did you fight and I broke, mace and shield? Huh? Did you fight mace and shield? No, mace and spear. Mace and spear. Cool. Until I broke it, broke my favorite one. So what did you like about the mace? I like that you could hit from any angle. And instead of instead of twisting your wrist, all you had to do was twist your body. And then same thing in the back. And I like the hip shots too. Cool. They were they were lifesavers sometimes. Because it was a shorter weapon. Right, and you so had to get them close. Should we go back to the photos? Um, sure. I, I love that you told the story of your last crown. Um Thank you for that. I really appreciate that, awesome. that. I actually missed that crown. Um, oh. I don't remember why, but um, I was very bummed, except that it snowed, right? Oh, it was freezing cold. <laughs> it was freezing rain. After every after every round, you went and put blankets all over you and stood there and waited. So, so you come back and your coronation, like before we go back to the pictures, I'm going to talk about your coronation. We have pictures of it. Um, and you come back and uh, David and Groa had like the last court from hell. Like that was your vigil too. 12 hours, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was, we was way late. So how, I mean, was that really different? Cause I, I can't imagine that court lasted that long. The last time you reigned, was that super different than before? Or? Yeah. I, we've had some long courts, but that one was really very long. <laughs> I think that's that a really that was your vigil too, wasn't it? No, oh, oh yeah, that was a long, long thing. Oh, I was super tired because I hadn't gotten any sleep. And then Einar, who united, um, kicked my ass the next day, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let's look at the pictures again. You had nothing to prove. You got the belt. Oh, uh, that's not really true. I think I feel like you always have something um, to prove to yourself. So that's that's what I at vigils. I don't. I didn't get to talk to you. I was there. I didn't get to talk to you. But that's what I say all the time. You can't win anymore, because if you if you fight somebody lower than you and you beat him, big deal. Right. If he beats you, whoa. Right. That's what I always tell people. Like you want, you don't want to get knighted too quickly. You want that sweet spot where you're the hot squire and everybody's like right. talking about you, and it's really cool that you're winning all the time. Because once you get, that's just expected. Yeah. yeah. Have you, um, Your Grace, have you heard the story from that event of uh, our mom and your son? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> I think we can hear that. Can you tell this? But no. Oh, you go ahead and tell it. Um, so my, my, our parents came to her nighting, and my mom and I were walking across the field towards her vigil tent, and Sven was there, and my mom grabbed my arm and like kind of got weak in the knees. <laughs> said, Don, that's the most beautiful man I've ever seen. <laughs> you didn't tell him that, did you? Oh, of course yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> now his head's this big. Oh, yeah, cool. except you know, it was my mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And his wife is gorgeous, so you know, he's happy. So, yeah. it's My mom was the biggest flirt ever. Yeah. Biggest I'm glad what? that she didn't like, flirt with him. That would have been super embarrassing. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> not here. That's Rorick. Yes, been behind. Oh, that's his knighting. He's yeah. giving me his belt. So. 
I, we're, I, um, we're going to look at some pictures of your squires later, but Rorik was one of your squires, right? Yes. Um, what do you look had, for when you take a squire? Do they, do you ask or do they ask you or? They ask me and I, what, what I, what I look for is will. Somebody wants to do it. I am, um, I've had some that didn't make it and some that I knew wouldn't make it, but I wanted to give them a chance. Very cool. And I think, I think they, it turned out all right. And, and Rorick is one of those that made it. Yep. <laughs> well, let me see. Just a little. There's, <laughs> but it's like, uh, like I told you, Siegfried and Gwillem, um, got me into the game and I promised Siegfried if I was ever a knight I'd make him a squire and I did and then he later on left but Rorik and Brandt and Dagar, Dagar and Megan. Uh, Megan was a squire too Well, and I'm talking about the ones that got oh. knighted um, well, I brought up your tree that I made for um, Otar for his knighting. You know, I, I use that for my for my Facebook. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, it, it turned out pretty cool. I'm um, not seeing it. You, you don't see the tree? No. Oh. No. Well. Hmm. It's still Rorik's knighting. Uh, let me share a different screen. There we go. Yay, technology. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, that's cool. There's Diane. That's me. Mm -hmm. Is this one Dagar? Uh, this one's Dagar. Oh, okay. Um, this is Rorik. Um, and then... These ones are um, ones I added later because they weren't in Otar's line. Um, but uh, I think. Um, mm. uh, yeah, I, my my last squire that that was really looking to be knighted finally got knighted. Yeah. So there's Lars and. Um, yeah. Half a wolf. The guy in Artemisia. Um, right, um, Balinor. Balinor. Um, so Hathor was my knight, or was my squire also. Yeah, he's right here. Oh. Yeah. So. Very cool. And then this one, um, who's the red boar? I can't remember. Brant. Brant, that's Brant. Sturrock. Yeah. So super cool. You have a very distinguished lineage. So I will stop sharing that. And it all started with Diane. <laughs> and we will go back to the other screen. Okay. Yeah, I got a lot of them, um, like uh, Steer Car and some other ones call me Grandpa. <laughs> Very cool. This was the first first one. Gagar, Siegfried, Dak. Oh, was that? Was he one? That was um. That was a squire that that left and went back east. Mm -hmm. That's right. I can't remember his name. Cool. Uh -huh. Me and Darius. <laughs> I love that costume. That's Sven. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, behind Gollum, yeah. He was young. I'm not sure what's happening here. You're making somebody the champion or, or the prince or something. Yeah, I don't know either. Champion. There's Ludviga. There's yeah, Sven. Tenale, young Ludviga there. Is that Torquil? Oh, maybe. Yeah. 
Oh, there they are. <laughs> yep. There's Sven. That's that's um Valinor. Valinor. It got knighted in Artemisia. I think that's Cedric. Is it really? Look at that mullet. <laughs> yep. Awesome. Wow. Another long time ago. So Ashaxi, I thought that was your husband behind him, but it's not, is it? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think at I don't know. point in time my husband was probably about sixteen or seventeen. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what this is, but looks like a war. Looks like Baron's ball. Wow. More fighting. Oh, is it in Montana or Idaho, Montana? Yeah, that looks like a maybe a war. Yeah. Yeah, it's um, you know this, this reminds me, of when, like I told you, about my pike and lining up for DAC. We always did that, DAC or Torgo or whatever night was on the ground. Everybody lined up to see who could could finally kill him, and um. So when I was king, we went up to Canada, and um, I was the last one on the field of our guys and there was like 10 or 15 of them. So I got on my knees to get ready to take them on one at a time. And they just climbed on top of me and started beating me till I died. So yeah, there's none of that up there. No single You're on your knees and there's a bunch left, they kill you. Funny. So handsome. Yeah. Oh, I love that hair. The hair, yep. <laughs> I wish I had it back. Mm -hmm. That's Steingrim and Lenora. Mm -hmm. No, that's Thorin. He's crowned in Thorin and Honorat. Mm -hmm. And that looks like Beric holding the banner. Yeah, I think it was. Aw. Yeah, this yeah. was after after the slap. <laughs> oh, the slap is next. I put these out of order. There it is. So how was it to knight your son? See, that was, um, I talked to knights, to the knights, and I told them, I, unless we have unanimous, a unanimous decision of the chivalry, I'm not going to do it. And it was, so we did it. It's not very often unanimous, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it was completely unanimous. That was a good snack. And, and he beat up on him quite a bit, too. This is one of my favorite pictures, that one and this that one. one. This was in Montana. That's Derek. That's a good one. Yeah, I have a whole series of you guys together because I, I love it. And people love uh, Duke, son, and dads. They just, they do. So. <laughs> oh, this is uh, not Tweezlewop. Hunker Hauser. Oh, this was Boom Wolf Games. He loved that. Oh, one. I love that. I would, do you know how that started? Um, we did that three years in a row, and each year it got bigger and bigger and bigger. We, um, I went to an event, and I read in the copy that they were going to have axe throwing and knife throwing. And so after the fighting, I ran over to where that was supposed to be, and there was a knife and an, and an axe stuck in a stump and nobody around. So I decided that we'd, we did what's called the 12 Trials of Brunwolf. And we had um, shoot, we had Hunker Hauser, Tweezel Wop for, and um, Norse wrestling. Then we had axe throwing and spear throwing and nice. knife throwing, and caber toss. we did the caber toss and the stone toss. Mm -hmm. So we did all those events, and then we did the the courtly events at the end, 
where you you did poetry and and whatever else singing, we did there singing storytelling. and storytelling and it was it was a big hit but i had a big house we had a big household then and the household helped put it all together and get it done but then i got a job at the prison that stopped everything what are you guys playing here that's hunker hauser hunker housing and what's the point you you're on a stump with a rope in between and you try to make the other guy fall off the rope or fall off the stump. It looks fun. Oh, it is fun. It's you. It's there's some technique to it too. Oh, you know one of the games I I love to play was North Stick Ball, and that got it. That one really got rough. I remember I was everybody. The guy with the ball would get tackled. And everybody would pile up on him. And then you'd start grabbing guys and throwing them off the pile. And I grabbed this one guy's leg and I go to throw him off the pile. And he screamed like a woman. And I couldn't figure it out. And I looked across. There was another guy on the other side with his other leg pulling on him. Yeah, that that, that game got rough. Because they kept saying no rules, but you had to do rules. Because you get some of those wrestlers or whoever in there, and they, they, he, one guy picked up the, the ball carrier and dropped him on his head. That's where we had to say, we could have some rules here. I think you need to write down these these weird Norse games because nobody plays these anymore. We need to bring them back. Nobody plays Norse stickball. No, That's I've never sad. seen it ever. Oh. What was the other one where they had different sides and you had different? That was Norse stickball. Now uh, you um you put your shield on the ground, and you throw a ball across the other ones, and the, the people are lined up for defense, and you try to get the ball to the shield. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. We're gonna have to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> I could do that there. <laughs> that's Finn and Rachel. Mm-hmm. I think this might be I, a fealty. I don't know. I, yeah. Oh, it could be. Uh, it looks that's. Like it's got pretend. It looks like you presented them with the rod and scepter. Oh. Uh, Those are the old rod and scepter bags that they're holding. Well, that's way out of order. Sorry. <laughs> that's our last ring. Is it? I think so. Mm-hmm. I can remember if you had long hair, but yeah, did you have long hair back then? Oh, I had long hair for a long time. That's Ludviga in the front there. Yeah. And yeah. Those, those cloaks, um, when I came into the SCA, were on wool and not velvet. Um, the the silk checky. Um, yeah. I've never seen them as velvet before. That's really cool. Wow. And here's the coronation that happened at night. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was really late. That's Davin, isn't it? Yeah, it's Davin and Groa. Yeah. yeah, that was a long night. This is probably giving them their duchy. I'll bet yeah. it is, yeah. I think this is knighting Einar. Ah. Uh, Such a good fighter. He's fun to talk to, too. Yeah. I love that belt. That belt I've got there, that was given to me by um, Manfred. Oh, wow. Very cool. With a a handmade belt buckle. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's right here. Here's the buckle. Wow. Wow. Belt. Super cool. That's that's an heirloom. Yeah. 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 This one's when they called up the lions. I don't know what for. They must have been making another lion. Must have. I don't remember. But I remember Lujiga, Rolf, and me. Yes. 
Who's that? That's Angus oh. from the summits. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Angus, right? Uh, maybe his pelican? Did you pelican? Uh, oh, I'll bet it is. There's that belt again. Yep. Yep, that's my belt. There's a purple. And there's a whole series of really nice pictures of the two of you. I love those, yeah. That was before I had to color my hair. <laughs> well, you don't have to color your hair. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, mine's going white. I'm happy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's skeptic. Mm -hmm. This looks like a three mountains feast. Yeah. Oh, yes, it could be. Uh, that's that's uh, there's Dak uh, and uh, Alfred's son, Charlie, in the back. Yep. Oh, is oh, it is. And that's I remember him. I remember when he was crawling. Yeah, and that's Reagan Leaf, uh, lady in waiting for Asa. It's kind of cool. And we're back at summits. I think this might be like 2010 or 2011. I think one of the funnest parts was giving out the awards. People, do you have a favorite award? People will usually say the AOA. I'm wondering, <laughs> I um, I got my I got my knight, my white belt, then I got my um, my um, okay. my goot, okay. and then I got my AOA. <laughs> He didn't have one. <laughs> Davin gave me my OA. You don't have an AOA? Nope. I think we like giving out the AOAs because it's everybody's first award and it's it's special. Yeah. Well yeah, I like um I like to call people up one at a time too. I don't like calling up more than more than one because that's that's their moment, you know. And um that caused us some grief along the way. <laughs> Sometimes a herald did not, thought we were doing things too slow and decided that they were going to call up too. And That's not how it that worked. did not work out. He, <laughs> had, he ended up running off, running out and, and quitting, quitting because, and that was fine with me. Uh, it is. She a night now? Yes. I thought she was. Happy post fight. Yeah. So your your tooled breastplate has lasted forever. Yeah, it has. That's uh, I um, won the last crown in it. Then I made that new armor. If you go back a second, mm -hmm. okay. it's the one with uh, the head, that one, with the face and the hair. I made that one. I still like the other one better, but it got too many layers of paint on it. <laughs> Did you make a, a Sven's tool breastplate too? No, I didn't. Oh, you didn't make that one? I did his, his shield, one of, one of them. No, I didn't. I didn't make his leather one. He's got so many that people give him. Yeah, he's got a lot of armor. All right, Squires. Jagar. Jagar. <laughs> <laughs> My medieval yuppie. Lars. Oh, that's good. That's that's Lars, me, Will, and. Fergus. Will got pelled. Me and Balinor. Balinor is a really good man. Oh, I, I love him. He uh, took me 
took me 21 years to get him knighted. <laughs> and Lars, it took me 22. This looks like his, Lars is knighting, maybe, doing this belt. Yep. Yeah. Oh, taking a squire. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we already looked at that. So. Got Carrie Thorne. That's pretty cool. Cedric. Cedric. So yeah, there's got to be a story behind this photo. Uh, they were taking pictures, and I don't know what, but um, yeah. the one with the guitar. Yeah. That's um. He just passed. Okay. He was a good guy. It's a very funny photo. <laughs> That's Kaya. That's Finn. I don't That's know who you. that is. Huh? I know that is you fighting Kayeth. Yeah, I'm fighting Kayeth. And that's Finn behind me there. Whose shield is that? One of his many? Yeah, it has to be. That's Brant. That's an old one. That looks like that's maybe Mr. Cedric Smith. Marshalling before he was a knight. Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, that's Brant. Oh, that's Brant. And that's, I think that's um, Mr. Selene. Mr. Selene. That's um, <sighs> Rorick? Rorick. Um, yeah, um, Bald headed Rorick, not Rorick. This is pretty recent. He's the one that took me out that crown event. You marshalling. Yep. And I think that's it. I've come to the end. Cool. My, my tourney weapon style was sword and, sword and spear. But in um in melee, there was nothing like my noggy. I loved it. Very cool. What do you what do you like about it? Because it's short, right? Like it's what six foot? No, it's like seven and a half foot. Seven and a half. With like a a forty inch sword on the end of it. And it was a a woman's weapon. A woman's weapon. Well, yeah, noggin. <laughs> There, that's right. fair. <laughs> they said I could I use you it. out on that because that's true. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's fun because I can play back. And like I said, Mace was my was my love for a long time. Grendel, Grendel tells me, "No, you're gonna have to start fighting uh, sword and shield now." Yeah, no, I'm not. Not if you don't love it. So Yeah, it's 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 defense. Now they did use it as an offensive weapon too. But we can't. Yeah. We can't do a lot of things with the hands and the feet and stuff. Right. We haven't talked about the lion yet. Yeah, we haven't talked about the lion. I don't think I had a picture of that. Um that was a complete surprise. And Sven gave it to me. That's my favorite piece of regalia. Is it the is it the scroll that's your favorite? No, the necklace. Oh, the necklace. Awesome. That's so, awesome. Yep. We always ask people like, you know, how it felt to be given a lion because it, it usually it feels a little surreal. Like how did it feel for you? It felt that way. It's uh, it's the greatest honor, in my opinion, in the SCA or in Ontario. I don't know about the other kingdoms. Well, Ontario is the SCA, right? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, everyone else. 
<laughs> Remember, I when I went to when I went to Australia. When we went to Australia, there was like eleven kingdoms there, and I was I was standing there, and I turn around and I'm I'm looking at this crown, and I I think I looked at it a little too long, because the king he goes, don't say a word, because it was Atlantia or someplace and dolphins all over the place. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Don't say a word. I, okay, I won't. <laughs> well, I mean, I, we're, we're biased, but you know, Torgal made some beautiful crowns, and oh, they they were incredible. The new ones that are, are incredible. Yeah, still incredible. Are they still using them? Did they make new ones? They're on a break. <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> They make new ones out of silver that are almost exactly the same. That are, oh, uh, and they made travel crowns that are hinged, so they they pack down better. Oh, nice! And the the original Torgo crowns are still getting repaired and polished. So, oh, good. They will every, be back. Every time you reigned, did you get to wear the Torgo crowns? Yes. yes. You never got to wear the saw crown or whatever that was. No, I, those are the only ones we wore. Awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. yeah awesome to wear. So, Ishaxi, did you have more questions? No? Did, did, did we miss anything that you would like to talk about, Gnar? Let me look. Okay. Or, Gabrielle, if there's any good stories we missed that you think we should tell? No. Did you think, Gabrielle, when he uh, started doing this, did you think that it would be a lifelong experience and that your son would carry it forth? Um, I was hoping so because he was really into it. Yeah. It, um, at first, it was, it was not fun for him because he was 11 and we had to drag him along and yeah, him and Marcy both, they, they... But when he got to fight, that was a whole different thing. <laughs> Very cool. I'm amazed that, that he stuck with the fighting through his high school years, because in high school, there are so many distractions. Um, so oh, I think yeah. Pretty Football. Important. Oh, tell him about Tatanka. <laughs> Tatanka? <laughs> when... um. When he got knighted, he was out of Farragut, and he got drunk. And him, and I think it was Skepti, they were going around the fire, being buffaloes, going, Tatanka, Tatanka, Tatanka. And Otter was there, and I told Otter, you're in charge. He better get back to his campment. And our and Otter said okay, and then I, we went to bed and we got up the next day and he was laying out flat in front of his tent, just oh, he was wasted. He was he was gone. Yeah, recuperating. Tatonka. <laughs> well, now we have a story on Sven. Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar to your oh. story, I know. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> she has more. Oh, more? <laughs> oh, I, I was going to, um, I do a, a final 10 questions that are just sort of rapid fire. Um, you want to do those or did you have something else you want to talk about before we got to that? No, sure, you can do those. So, who is your favorite fight ever? See, we wrote this down. Oh. <laughs> it was my favorite one was Ivan the Illustrated at Australia. What a bull. I mean, we're fighting, and I bring my spear up, and I poke him in the face, and his neck goes back, and he pushes his neck forward and knocks me on my butt. Wow. That's never – and then he died, but he knocked me on my butt. I couldn't believe it. All right. Um, what's your favorite medieval oh, – right. Whoop, go ahead. Huh? Whoop, okay. No, go ahead. What's your favorite medieval-esque or period movie? Oh, of course, Knight's Tale. I didn't like it at first, 
because of Queen. I didn't like the modern music. But then when I watched it and watched the story, I fell in love with it. And then, of course, Flesh and Blood. Those are two that are my favorites. If you could fight anyone in the world, who would it be? Who would it be? That was Ivan the Illustrated. Oh, okay. Um, is there an event that you've <laughs> never gone to that you would like to go to? Oh, what's the one, Becky? Penzik? Oh, yeah, um, Penzik. Yeah. That's one I would love to have gone to. Well, does it, does oh, there's another movie that I... Huh? Doesn't your daughter live out in Pennsylvania? Yeah. Yeah, she, she does. does. You could do like a side trip to Penzik. Yeah. <laughs> we might do that. That's a good idea. Here's, um, it, it sounds like a... Sounds like kind of a porn movie, but it's not. It's a French movie that I that I watched. It's called Nanette's World. Nanette's World. And it was really realistic, medieval, like all the ladies in waiting. They all slept in the same bed to keep her warm. And of course, peasants were peasants, and nobility was nobility. But it was it was realistic. That's why I liked it. I'm gonna add that but to the list. I don't think anyone's yeah. Look it up in the Nets world. All right. Cool. Um, what's your best advice to someone who wants to reign? Reign for the people. That's that's my best advice. I mean, you can you can make decisions and things like that, but you need to think of the people when you do it. Because I've seen I've seen kings get death threats. You know, I was advisor to a king and he was really impulsive. And he calls me up and he goes, Gennaro, was I too impulsive with it? No, no, you were way too impulsive with that. Because, yeah, that's, you need to always think of the people. Always. Yeah, without the people, you're not king and queen. You, you know, the people are important. Yeah, they're the ones that make you king and queen. Yeah. If they don't believe you're a king or a queen, you're not one. Um, if you could talk to anyone about fighting for an hour, who would it be? I do it all the time. It's Sven. Well, that's nice. I mean, you have access, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hours and hours. Um, is there something that you haven't accomplished in the SCA that you would like to accomplish? I think I'm all accomplished. <laughs> Very cool. Well, you, I mean, you are, so. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I had plans of being, being I, I was king in my 30s, king in my 40s, king in my 50s. I was going to be king in my 60s, but I'm like two months late for that because <laughs> I'm now 70. Well, you can still be king in your 70s, though. <laughs> I'd love to give it a shot. I, I would love to see that. I, and actually, I would love to see both you and Thorin um, get back um, on the tourney field. Um, I, I know you still fight occasionally, but um, I, I would love this person. Has Thorin been fighting him lately? I haven't seen him in a while, but I haven't seen anyone in a while because nobody's been fighting. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite in kingdom event? In Kingdom? Yeah, like Ontarian event. It's it's gotta be crowned now, but it was like I said, um um Baron's Ball. Baron's Ball. That was my favorite one. I think um almost anybody we talk to um east of the mountains, it's Baron's Ball. Mm. Yeah. And that's gone it's gone from Darren a uh, Darren, from Diane all the way up to the next Baron and the next Baron. All the way up to steer car, wasn't it? The last one. I don't know who's Baron out there now, but yeah, I don't know. Was. He's not the Baron now. Um, if you had to recommend a book to a squire, what would it be? Oh. If you're not a book person, that's okay. We can do a different question. Yeah, let's do a movie or something. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's see another movie question. 
Who is your favorite actor who has portrayed a med medieval character? It's got to be Sean Connery. Hard to be Sean Maybe Connery. Marian. Robin and Marion. That. Very cool. Oh. Can't be. Can't, I can't think of anybody else that I. Well, Rugger Howard did a good job too. All right. Um, what is the most important characteristic um, to become a successful fighter? Tenacity. You need to keep with it. You need to not not worry when bad things happen. It's Dagar gives me all kinds of crap about this because I told him when you're fighting out there, you need to just keep hitting them. Just keep hitting. And that's what that's, he gives me crap about that all the time. But what I mean is you keep throwing, keep throwing until it's over. You don't go wham, wham, and then step back. You, you keep throwing. Yeah, I think um, that is a bad habit a lot of us have. We like to admire our work. <laughs> and not finish until they say good at all. So. Yeah, you just, you got to keep hitting them. My crown against Darius, the, the final the final fight, when I finally got him cornered, it was tough to do because, like I said, he can run. I, I, I threw like six reps that before he could say anything, you know. I'm sure he was ready, but he just couldn't say it. <laughs> Definitely. Well, thank you so much for agreeing to do this and for telling us all your stories. And thank you, Gabrielle, for joining. Um, I really appreciate it. It's been really wonderful so, to talk to you both. Rizka, a question for you. Yes. When are you going to set the throne as king? Ah, uh, well, um, I am working on it. I would like to uh, make your son, well, I, I would be queen. By, by why I would oh. like your son a lad of the rose, though. <laughs> I, I, I would like to see that. I'd love to see you both there. Yeah, I'm working on it. I don't know when the next crown is going to be, though. We haven't been told that. Yeah. Yet, so. yeah. Tick tock, tick tock, <laughs> tick tock. Um, so I, we're just going to plug what's coming up. Um, on Sunday, I am going to be talking to Her Excellency Elizabeth from the middle and she's going to teach us how to make inexpensive um, period jewelry. Um, she's a oh, cool. pelican and a laurel and that should be super fun. So. Mm. And then next next week on a branch of laurels, uh, uh, I am have the privilege of, of uh, interviewing Tulia Alori, who uh, is um, a laurel from the West Kingdom and one of the uh, inner, uh, gosh, hosts of Between Two Peers. <laughs> And then next Wednesday, uh, Duchess Wren, right? Yeah. So, uh, cool. the Wren, Duchess Wren, um, who's a pelican mm -hmm. and a knight and one of my favorite people in the entire world. Yeah. So that should be a super, super fun, um, conversation. So join us next week and thanks to God. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it's been wonderful and, uh, everyone have a great night. Thank you. Thank you for thanks, making guys. me feel comfortable. I was nervous. You're very, very <laughs> welcome. Thank you for agreeing to do it. Thanks. You guys take care.